So let's say that, you know, everybody loves depth of field when it comes to getting nice video quality or even, you know, I guess it started in photography, but now with videography, you want to be able to get that nice depth of field. And like in this case, I'm using the Lumix G7 with a prime lens. I'm using the Olympus 25 millimeter and I've got it set up on a tripod, but just so I could keep that focal distance, make sure that my uh, focus is correct. But if you see that I'm in focus, but everything behind me has been blurred out. So it gives you that really nice depth of field. But I'm gonna show you how you can actually do that with an action camera. So let's say that you have an action camera that's stationary and you're videotaping yourself like a talking head like this right here. But you wanna be able to give the illusion that you're using a DSLR or a mirrorless camera and that you've got a really nice prime lens on it so that you can blur out the background a little bit. Well, I'm gonna show you a little trick in Adobe Premiere Pro on how you can do it and it's very simple and that's coming right up. So let's say for giggles that you have an action camera and right now I'm using the GoPro Hero 7 but it can be any action camera and you know the focus on an action camera is to infinity. So you don't focus in on a subject and then be able to blur out the background to show you some depth of field but there is a way to do it in post-production and I'm going to show you how we can do that in Adobe Premiere Pro. So as you see right now I'm shooting. You see everything's clear in the background, everything's in focus, I'm in focus, and everything behind me is in focus. And this is good if you're gonna do this with an action camera that's stationary, whether it's on a tripod or you set it up on something, or if you do it in a vlogging setup like this, I guess the key thing is that you need to make sure that you're constantly within frame because you need to do something in Adobe to keep you here in focus and everything else blurred out in the background. And I'll kind of show you what I mean right now. So as you can see, I'm still in focus, but everything in the background has now been blurred out. So it gives you that little impression of depth of field. Okay, now earlier I used the GoPro Hero 7 Black, but I just want to use the Firefly 8 SE right now just for example purposes. So I've got a LED light shining towards me here, and I want to keep me in focus and be able to blur out everything around me. So let's just see how that looks because right now it's the way that it is normal where everything's in focus and now let's go to just me in focus and everything else blurred out can you see the difference it gives a nice little effect i mean you know it is a little bit of added work in premiere pro but then again if you're on a super tight budget and you can't afford a dslr and you can't afford a mirrorless camera but you can afford an action camera you can still use that action camera to kind of give you and your viewers the illusion that you're using a prime lens and maybe a little bit higher quality camera. So now let's get into Premiere Pro and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So once you're into Adobe Premiere Pro, you'll come down, you're going to import. So we'll find this video right there as an example. To pull this into project don't really need the audio from this clip because I'm doing a screen grab so there I am nice and in focus so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here to the effects tab we're gonna come down to video effects we're going to come to blur we're gonna find Gaussian blur I'm gonna put that right on top of the clip. So now when we go over here to the left side, there's Glossian Burr, Blur, blah, 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 blah. You can tell that I'm still need some more coffee. So we're gonna go over here to Gaussian Blur, and if you do blurriness, you can see it just blurred out the entire video. Well, we don't wanna do that. I wanna be able to just pick me out so what I'll do is I'll go over here to this round little icon here, grab that. I can place this right over my face, pull the edges down. So I can kind of get around this here. 
Then I want to also mask feather. So I want to feather this out just a little bit. So what you see what happens here is you get a little bit of a feather so it won't be an abrupt, this is super sharp and this is blurry. So right now I've got it at 40%. We'll see how that looks. And then we'll, if I start adding blur right now, you see what happens is it'll blur out my face. Now that's great if you're doing a video and you're trying to block out your child's face or like a license plate, for example. But in this case, we want to do inverted. So once you click inverted, now everything that's going to be blurred is outside of that oval. So now when we play the clip, now yes, it is. Let's see if I can pull this down just a little bit. I don't want to rotate. But if you see what I'm doing, it'll give you an idea of how much that you can keep in focus. And I'm going to add a little bit more feathering here. And then we'll click play. Now my hand is out of focus, but if you see me right there, this is perfect. So basically, this is just a very simple way for you to blur out your background and be able to give you a little bit of depth of feel. Now be careful with how much blurriness, because if you look at the blurriness that I've got here, it is pretty dramatic. I could have came in a little bit closer with the mask. But see, if I take the feathering away, you see how dramatic that did is uh, and here it is at 71 percent it gets a little bit more of a blend to it but it's just a nice way for you to kind of add a little bit of depth of feel to your video and you know it's a nice little way for you to be able to take an action camera even a cell phone and be able to give yourself a little bit of depth of feel on a video that you're shooting of yourself if you want to start blurring out the background. Now in this case here, you can see I went really, really over the edge here. And if I want to redo this, then I could just take this entire clip, we'll delete it, stick it back on the timeline, get rid of the audio, we'll come back to effects, Gaussian blur, and I want to put this just right here over my face. Maybe bring this in just a little bit tighter. So it's just right there. And then I can add some feather to it. Maybe about out to there. We're going to invert again. Didn't click invert. So now I'm bl totally blurred out the back image. So if you see from this example right here, it gives you a nice depth of field and it's kind of cheating a little bit, but you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Adobe Premiere Pro has got some very powerful tools, but it's just a nice little tip that I thought I would pass on to those of you out there that are interested in getting some depth of field with your action camera and making it look like it's a mirrorless camera or even a DSLR. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment down in the comment section below because I respond to all comments. If you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to click the bell and I will talk to you later. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.